Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is my second day of my Christmas videos. Uh, if you notice a little C in brackets up here, um, or C with numbers and brackets, that's the amount of videos I've been uploading. I think I might do it up until January the 6th, as that's the last day of Christmas. Anyway, today we're in Kerbal Space Program, and I'm going to show you how to get a satellite around Kerbin. Now basically, uh, as of the 1.87 patch, um, we have had satellites, or like uh, probe uh, bodies, as you can see here. This is a probe I launched earlier. I've still got a little bit of fuel, barely any though. Um, it does nothing a satellite, it's got nothing attached to it. It's just there to be a satellite. Now that's gonna, what I'm going to be showing you how to launch and how to get into the orbit. Um, I've tried getting these to the moon, but I just don't ever have enough fuel. Um, so I think I'm going to have to make a full proper moon rocket. Um, but anyway, we're going to... Who oh knows? I need to get out of here. I don't want to end the flight though. Uh oh. <laughs> Two seconds, I shall... Have I got any fuel left? No. I am confuzzled. Anyway, I will see you once I have got out of this thing. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately I had to end it because I've probably mucked it up somehow. Uh, but anyway, this is how we're going to do it. So, we're going to start off with this one. The Stay Putnik um, Mark II. Oh, uh, phone. <laughs> um, but we've got our Probodyne and we've got our Probodyne other one. Uh, that one's, th these two are just a lot heavier than this one and we don't really need a very heavy one. So we're going to get one of those, and then we're going to get four of these Oscar B fuel tanks. And these are going to be, so we can modify our orbit whilst we're up there. Ooh. Um, okay, we've done something wrong here. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It just does. It likes to troll us. Come on, work. <laughs> right, good. So you've got those four. Then we're going to need three of these Rocco Max rockets. Um, well, you probably don't need three really, but I just like three because it's a nice even number. And there we go. Then we're going to need some power because this actually requires power. It requires uh, 1.7 per minute, which is tiny. But these rockets, however, need... Um, you know, I was pretty sure they needed them, but maybe they don't. Uh, anyway, we need power. So we, I did actually originally try it with some of these, these ones that fold out, um, but I forgot to make them fold out and when you're, it, sometimes it's just really inconvenient, but so we're going to get some of these ones that are always open, we're going to just get three on the top, that's all we need, otherwise we're wasting uh, weight. Uh, we need a battery pack, um, for the mass difference it's probably just worth getting this rechargeable one, and we only need one of them. So let's just stick this on here, but then again we might need to balance it, so how much does this weigh? 0 0.005, so if we stick that on this side, let's see, in our instruments, do you have anything that weighs that much? Yes we do, um, let's see, do we want a barometer, atmospheric pressure, uh, I think we should have gravitational fields, I don't know why, or yeah, we need to communicate back to Earth. <laughs> so let's just get stick to that there. So now we're properly balanced. Um, so what else do we need? We need our actual launcher. Uh, oh, yeah. So firstly, we're going to need to get a decoupler. And it's not going to connect, is it? Are you serious? Why? What is it doing to me? Right. Occasionally you may have problems with sticking things together like I am right now <laughs> why? <laughs> you can do it with everything just not with four engines four rockets ah oh, that would be why there's another fuel tank in there that I was not aware of right so we need to reattach our rockets now right so we need them sitting about there but as you can see that's overhanging the decoupler so we're just going to stick an octagonal strut because they don't weigh very much and we don't want our rockets bumping into things uh, so we need fuel tanks I find these ones work quite well um, I usually use two of them to get us into orbit um, 
but actually we're going to want to stick a an SAS module. Where are they? Um, there we go. Just an SAS module. There we go. I don't know if we need them, but I just find it gives us a lot more stability. Oh, um, we could have a an SAS module up here as well. Um, and that way, if we stick some RCS on here, then we won't fly around too much. We only need two though. Right, so... There we go. Now we can actually... I should probably stick that in the middle, shouldn't I? There we go. So, now we will be able to control our craft. But down here, we don't really need those. We just need wings, or winglets. So they'll be under aero. I, just, I like these ones. Those ones are a weird colour. Um, these ones, I just know, they work. <laughs> so we're going to get three. We're going to stick it there. And we're going to get another three, just because I always find I lose a lot of control somehow. We're going to stick those there. So there we go. Ooh, we're going to zoom into the rocket. There we go. Perfect. Um, and now the last thing we need is our... Where is it? Our propulsion. We need our rocket, and these ones are probably not the same weight, to be honest. Where's the weight mass? 1.5, 1.25, and it's more powerful, so uh, there's probably something else to do with like, uh, I don't know, whatever the hell um, ISP is or LSP, I think something to do with that. I know there's a couple of words I don't understand, because I don't take physics. Well, I do. <laughs> I don't take A-level physics. Um, we're going to call this Callum, because that's my name. And then I'm just going to see if everything's correct. Indeed it is. Okay, we are ready to launch. Oh, just check our staging. Right, we probably would be better. Uh, let's try it like that. And we should just test this, check it. Yay, the game crashed. <laughs> Woo! Um... Basically, I was going to say, check it to see if it works. Uh, luckily, my footage didn't get deleted. But anyway, after we've saved our ship, our Callum ship, we can load it from here, from our launch pad. And hopefully this is going to work. I'm just actually going to go into... Ooh. Ooh, I don't like it. Right. Sometimes my computer does that. It's strange. I think it... Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to just we're going to stick these down a bit because even though my computer can cope with it, it seems to crash. Right, so let's apply. Okay, so something really bad just happened, and I don't know why uh, the game just decided it was going to crash. But anyway, we're going to stick our throttle up to full. We're going to stick our SAS on. RCS we don't need at the moment, and we are going to stop the trippiness. And three, two, one, lift off. Okay, so basically, I'm going to keep it going straight up until we reach sort of this ball, this <laughs> this um, stage in the atmosphere here. I'm going to start doing a gravity turn. I honestly don't know when I should do them. Um, I end up usually starting them now. Um, so if you just tilt your rocket slightly, it doesn't really do much harm. Um, just try and keep hold of it because this rocket I know does actually. Um, but we can pretty much ooh, uh, make sure you keep control, try and keep it on the same degree down here as this line. Um, but you need to constantly adjust it constantly um, until this rocket's gone. Because for some strange reason, the launch stage is really badly controlled. We should probably stick more wings on it. Um, I don't know. So we're gonna s I'm going to start rolling over now. Make the SAS hold it more. Hold it. SAS is crap. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually worth sticking it on. Probably just adds weight we don't need. Right, so soon we are going. To, we're going to turn over a bit more now. Here. Um, when I run out of rocket fuel, that is when I shall stop for a bit. Let's just quickly check this. How are we doing? 
No, wonderful. Something has gone wrong here. Why? What is wrong with you? Stupid game. Right, I'm gonna have to actually. Oh my god. Right, we'll see if it corrects itself. Um, we might have to do this without the menu. That would be, that would be exciting. Right, so. Let's see. We're getting quite high now. Eventually, we'll be in orbit. Well, apparently, you are, we are in orbit. Don't know whether we are. RCS on. Uh, cut the engines, cut the engines. <laughs> right. So we are going to want to take SAS off and just adjust us so we're on the right angle, which is there. A little bit further. There. Now, I don't know whether we're in orbit or not, so what I'm going to have to do is quit this and load it again see if that works because I don't know why the game's just going to play up today for some reason okay so this seemed to have worked slightly basically we are here and the apparatus is way too high I don't know what I've done I've screwed it up we can fix that so we're not actually going to orbit properly what we're going to have to do is wait till we get to the apparatus and then sort of burn towards the earth or towards Kerbin uh, I think don't really know right let's see where is the apparatus? And I'm going to use my phone because I like to be able to do my burn at exactly the right time. See, I've got it to one minute, so when that gets to one minute, so we're going to have to speed up a lot. And we're going to wait till I get down to near a minute. I'm actually going to sit it to 30 seconds. Oh no, not 30 minutes. Okay, just keep an eye on this. Okay, good. 30 seconds on my timer. Just speed it up a little bit more to wait. I'm gonna actually stop this now. I'll just adjust myself, my trajectory, and crap. Right, so curve in is that way. We want to take off the SAS because we don't need it on, and we're gonna want to go around to. I believe if we burn southwards, it will work. If that is south. Um, let's just try that. Is this working? It's getting lower. Okay, let's just see if we put a little bit more power. Let's see, has that done anything for us? Not really, no. So, um, if we actually... If we burn... If we get an orbit going... If we just take off the SES again, uh, this is really inefficient fuel-wise, but we have got just a little bit over half our fuel left, so we should be able to get this into an orbit. Should. I have to admit, I am not very good at doing that. Stop. See, we're in an orbit now, that's good. So we're going to wait till we get to the periapsis, and we're going to burn backwards. So that shrinks, I believe. Um, does that say moon? Oh, Kerbin. Okay, so we're gonna get around here. Do 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 do. Right. Um. Enjoy the soothing background noise. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna get one minute on the clock. Sorry. Right. Okay, I might have to do one minute four seconds. All right. Excellent. Um, we're gonna have to do. A 50 second timer starting in six five four three two one timer right now we're going to line ourselves up backwards take SAS off and when my alarm reaches zero we shall do this right so how much time do we have left we have 33 seconds um, I like to be precise for some reason. Don't know why, I just like it. Um, I believe, oh, we are charging. Oh no, we're not charging. One thing I did find is uh, you can actually, uh, I've only got 10 seconds. I'll show you in a bit when we're properly around the backside of Kerbin. Got 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
Three, two, one. So that's 205, it's 170. It's not exactly circular. Uh, you can fix that if you want. I think if we burnt a little bit, a little bit that way. Um, but for the time being, we're gonna leave it. As you can see, we are not charging, that's 62. If I zoom out here, and we get the sun on our screen, you see there, and then we go back into here. Oh, it was working yesterday. <laughs> I think it might only work with the other panels let's see let's just get around properly back around the other side of curbing see if it works um, so as you can see we have got a good orbit going here it's gonna stay like this forever and ever and okay so we're properly around the back side of curbing now and we've got tiny electrical charge so let's see there's the Sun oh focus Callum so under resources, oh, it's gonna glitch out again. Oh no, it's not, yay. Uh, electric charge is on full. This isn't the same rocket, is it? Or is it? Ah, we have found a glitch. Have we? Oh no, no, we're on the wrong one. I was just thinking, why is my electrical charge only on five instead of on one? Right, okay, I don't know why, but earlier, basically, I think it might be because I was using the other panels. Um, if I just quickly face this towards the sun. The sun. Um, basically, it, um, whenever I looked at the sun in the navigation menu, it, for some strange reason, it actually charged um, to 100%. It was really strange. Uh, but anyway, that is how you get into orbit. If you want to fix it, um, I really need to look into how you fix orbits and stuff. But eventually, I'm going to get a little bit of courage. And I'm going to go to the moon. The moon. And then maybe wherever the hell um, the other one is. What's the other one called? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.